Okay, guys. Um, today's video is going to be about um, the uh, fawn or doe ears and jingle bell necklace that I had made for... Um, Thing that I'm going to talk about is the necklace that I made because it was sort of the easiest but kind of the a little bit tricky thing to do because I did a lot of test runs like I did so many different test runs for making the necklace and the first thing that I did was I tried to um, put the bells just through the the um, opening right here or not the opening but you know the part that is at the end but the um, tops of the bells right here were too small so I tried to stretch them a little bit with scissors and that didn't work so me and my dad we had to rethink about it well mainly I have to rethink about it and so what I did was I cut the necklace in half so right in the middle and I started um, putting on the bells and at first I had them you know just I had them side by side like this and you know after I was done putting all the bells that I wanted on there I hot glued the middle of the necklace two things went wrong with that the first thing that went wrong was there wasn't enough bells there was too much room on the necklace the second thing that went wrong was the hot glue did not stay and it did not hold the necklace together so it ripped or it tore apart when I was putting the bells in order so I had to rethink about that so I took the hot glue off the um, necklace bit that I cut off and I put more bells on there and the way that I did it the second time was I did it to where the green was on top and the gold was on the bottom the two greens on top and then the two goldens on the bottom and that made that fit a lot more bells that I wanted to and these the bells that I got are from Hobby Lobby I just got the green and gold ones because um, what I did was instead of hot gluing it because I knew that the hot glue would not be able to hold all the bells that I put on there especially since I added more bells on there um, what I did was I got the sewing kit that I bought also at Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> All these things are from Hobby Lobby, by the way. Um, so I got the sewing kit that I got, <clears throat> and I sewed the middles together. So I sewed the two parts that were cut off. I sewed them together, one on top of the other, and I just sewed them, you know, together. And that made it a lot more easier, and the bells immediately covered it up, and nobody would have suspected a thing, and um, people were surprised on that it took so long to do. Because honestly, altogether, both the ears and the necklace, but altogether, they probably took about five hours. They were done on two different days, but altogether, it probably took five hours to make. And nobody nobody suspected that it would that it took that long for me to make. But after telling them what I did, it made a lot more sense to them. So that's how I made the jingle bell necklace. And <laughs> and I wore it like during class time. So I know that a lot of people were very annoyed with it. Because I was annoyed with it. Like, I knew that people wanted to punch me in the face. Because if I were them, I would punch myself in the face. Because it was annoying me. But anyways, people still liked it. And they loved it. And I got so much, so many good feedbacks from it. And, um... On to the ears. The ears were a little bit trickier to make. Because I had to do so... Me and my dad had to do so many, like measurements and different things and also during the process I messed up on the um, ear piercings these things right here and so yeah but the the ears right here are made out of just a nude or a beige and a brown foam board and literally 
It took me so many different tries to get the perfect ear, and this is the ear that I eventually got <clears throat> right here. So it's just a bigger size from this one, and um, it took it took probably about maybe three hours to make these, and then of course only on the brown one it only took me two tries to get it the perfect size and um, with that what I did was I took the cutouts of the foam board and I put them together so that way you know it measures up perfectly and everything like that and I maybe did about um, half an inch distance away from the inside of the ear to the outside of the ear and on the back I labeled them um, left and right so that way you know I know where they would go and <sighs> this is what happened during the process of making these ears okay now don't call me an idiot because this happens to a lot of people when they try and make something and especially me because I'm not all that crafty yet but what happened was I had glued the inside of the ear and the outside of the ear together already so they were already molded and everything like that you know I knew what I wanted to do and I had the shape and I glued them together so that way I can make it like this and when it's unglued when the foam boards are not glued on or glued together it's gonna look like a spade like yeah it's gonna look like a spade and after you pinch it together it should look like this this is what it should look like now once I had glued the bottoms together, once they were pinched together and I had glued them already, um, I was mapping out where to place them because here is the center right here. So my dad told me to get something flat and put it about center-ish or the center of this, the distance away in the headband. And so I did that and I marked it. And I got one ear on right, like, I think it was, it's this ear that I had done first. And, you know, it was the perfect, you know, arch and everything like that. It was right, it was the good angle. And then I get to the left ear, and I glue it straight accidentally, instead of gluing it at an angle. So it would be more like this. So now it's just kind of straight instead of going up at an angle. And so that's the accident that happened with this, or one of the accidents that happened with this. But I mean, in at the end of the story, like it still looked good and everything. With the bells, the green was the first bell to go on. And I think it was, yeah, it was the right ear um, the left ear was first, and I glued it, uh, I sewed the bells on with, you know, a sewing kit, and the green, the first one on the left ear, the first green one, went perfectly, you know, it, it was on the right side and everything, or it was on the right, it was on the correct side of the left ear, and I get to the right ear for sewing the bell on, and because I was looking at them from my desk to me so I was looking at them like this I was looking at them like this so what I did was with the right ear I sewed it on the um, I sewed it up here instead of down here so the left and the right ear were matching each other and so I had to unsew the bell from this side and put it over here on this side. And so that was the other little accident that happened um, in making these. But, I mean, everything went good. And that's the end of me telling you guys how I created the um, antler or the ears and the jingle bell necklace. I will see you guys next time, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and I love you guys so much. Bye.